okay, I'm, I'm going into a relationship for the right reason and not because I'm looking for something from mm-hmm. someone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So were you younger when you got, how old were you when you first, when you married? Okay, so I had a son at, um, at 21 from my college boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then a year and a half later, between that time that I, after I had him, we were kind of going back and forth. And so then I met my then husband a year later. So we started dating like when my son was just a year old. So I didn't give myself enough time in between that serious relationship and motherhood to kind of get myself together. And then um, we have an 11 year age difference. So he's 11 years older than me. He's never been married before, but it just, it didn't seem like a big deal at first, but I feel like as I was growing up and learning myself, I feel like the age gap just kind of just seemed more prominent as I got older. Mm-hmm. Interesting, because I'm 12 years older than my wife now. So what kind of what kind of advice would you give me with I'm, I'm 12 years older than her? So, yeah, I, you know, what, what kind of advice would you give me then? Um, I think my advice is still the same thing. Like when you're confident in yourself, I just feel like it doesn't, I don't think that's going to harm the relationship, but I feel like if you're not, it goes into one of those, if I'm older, like if the woman's older, it's more like a mother, father, or like you feel like somebody's bossing you around and you're trying to grow up and you're like, you're trying to tell me what to do or like, which I just feel like we were, we were on the same page sometimes, but a lot of times we weren't on the same page. And so, like I said, as I started learning myself and like growing up and becoming more mature and more confident in myself, I just feel like stuff that I was comfortable with when I was younger, I just kind of felt like this isn't for me anymore. So I don't feel like the age gap is necessarily like a bad situation for people so I would never say that I just feel like for me because I was not in a good place the age gap was just like you're not my daddy (laughs) (laughs) you ain't my daddy right (laughs) (laughs) no I no I totally understand I do believe confidence is everything because I can say going from my first marriage to remarrying uh, I'm a lot more confident I was 40 at the time when, when I got remarried, way more confident at 40 than I was at 24 when I first got married. So, um, yeah, I was 20. Yeah. I think I was 28 when I went and we were together from me being 22 until we were separated for the last three years. So, I mean, that was my twenties and thirties was that relationship. So Mm -hmm. the long, that's a long time. I feel you. So I'm, same here. We have in church because like my twenties, thirties, I went through a divorce. I'm like, I can't believe I'm out here at 40 starting listen, all over. Listen. And it was new. You know, I mean, I was, when I first met, I mean, it was like Facebook was a new thing. Right. By the time right. I got divorced, you had Instagram, Snapchat, and right. TikTok, and all these other videos. I was like, oh my God, I don't know what in the world I've gotten myself into now. That's what I told my friends. I'm like, see, I didn't have all this stuff before. I'm like, and I just feel like it, it's good and bad because it's busy out here. <laughs> busy out here. Mm, yeah. I, you know what? Because now that we're here, I want to ask you about that. What do you, do you date now or what, what, how do you see the dating scene by today's standards? Okay. So I can't compare those standards back then to these Mm -hmm. standards. because I don't feel like I really dated when I was younger. I feel like I just got into long relationships. So I never took the time to kind of, you know, fill things out, check people out, check myself out, things like that. So now I'm like intentionally dating and I've dated, I've went on, shall I say, I've went on a few dates and I'm like, this is different. Um, I haven't had like totally bad experiences, but it's just being 43 and learning how to date and learning myself is different. So I don't know if I have, like right now, I'm always like, do I have enough patience for this? Because I 
I also feel like, like you said, like social media, like we didn't have social media back then. So now it's just like you have this wide range of people that can contact you and contact whoever you may be interested in, you know, just vice versa. I just feel like it's, it's just busy and it's a lot of attention and distractions and, and things. So for me, I'm a little nervous. So I, I have gone on some dates and I ha- I've had some good experiences and I, I enjoy the fact that I'm trying new things and being more confident in myself, but yeah. Mm. 